Yo, 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 wish your boy on really saint bring you another episode on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're gonna go and face Cassiopeia, which I think is Penny. So let's do that. I'll change the uniform back as well to the original. Where's Mr. Clavel here? I didn't heal my Pokemon. Stop, I'm really saying. Eric the Clavel. Pokemon, the name's Clive, remember? Actually, no, it's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Aha! I do apologize for deceiving you in my disguise. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Naranja Academy. Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. Though now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep up my youthful acts on a few occasions. It must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Caspia, the big boss of Team Star, was me. Mr. Clavel is the big boss. That's impossible. Honest to goodness, when you heard Caspia over the phone, that was actually a pre recorded voice. Pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. But Master, are you saying now you, you know I am the big boss? That means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Wow, I'm actually fighting Director Gravel. And he's the big boss. This is crazy. I am Kasapi of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Star to an end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look, look, look. I don't understand why I was praising my <laughs> Oscar either. I don't, I don't understand. Almost no. Bring it on. It's so nice having that like, most of the Pokedex completed. You know all the typings. If you're not good at the typing thing, obviously. If you're, if you're great at typing, then this shouldn't be any problem to you, but I do forget some. Flower trick, crit. Meowskarad is OP, man. So OP. Poltergeist. This is one of the most annoying evolutions in the game, by the way. Um, but you can find the item to evolve it once. Just have to. YouTube it, uh, Google it. There is an item you can find in the top left where the lake is. Find an item there to evolve it, but only one. Then, to get the actual item, if you want to do it again, you're going to have to go to the auction house in Port Miranda and try and get lucky with the people selling the item, which could take long because I did try. Like, um, tried like around six, seven times, and I could not, could not get the item to appear with the auctioneers. So I gave up with that. Then I said I YouTube, and it showed me that you can actually get the item once at the top left of the map. So that's what I ended up doing. But, yeah, to think that I Casapia would be backed. Whatever did he say? Oh. No. Oh no. Very well, it seems I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. This child walking in battle, lagging my screen, needs to appear. 
Come on, you croc. Ooh. That's not good. If you take a step back, please, this may get dangerous. I actually might. But this is gonna hurt. Yeah, it's not good. We're gonna be able to probably hit one more time and then we're screwed. We are screwed. I could heal my Pokemon, but I'm just gonna. Oh my. We did it. I was not expecting to KO it. Beautiful. How strong you have grown. Thank you for that juicy, juicy money. Got now, Master, I'm really saying. Seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. What? Though so Clara and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. It has to be pending. I but I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That's why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrow should not be yours to bear. However, Caspia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. So I challenge you to battle to test your skill. If he had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Caspia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you us as strong as you are kind if anyone has a chance at saving that poor child it is surely you as an educator it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task but please defeat caspia take on the big boss of theme star and win yes sir thank you from the bottom of my heart i leave this in your hands you there what do you think you're doing oh, i time a pleasure to see you it's not a pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. I come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds and what do I find? The director of the academy himself facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? Uh, no, if I could just explain, you see, it's a rather sad tale. But spare me your excuses and requests and a stunkies behind. The stunkies behind? Hmm. Remember, the big boss asked you us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I, uh, I'm counting on you, Master Henry Saint. To write a letter of an apology to the students and faculty at once. I'll be reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board, make no mistake. If gracious, no, anything but this, I implore you. Alright. Let's go in. Sorry. Seems to be burping. Or oh, hiccups, I don't know. Evil one. <laughs> Couldn't tell you right now. I still need to do the classes, but I might just leave that to end game. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we need to go to the school yard. I knew it was Penny. Really saint. Thanks for coming. This must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Caspia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those team star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. Still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. It's the final showdown. Are you ready? I'm ready. Sorry to keep you. The letter of a budget in this time had me, uh, I mean, the pressure took longer than expected. 
that voice. Are you Clive? Tell me, so it was you after. Uh, no, I mean, that has to be in the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you will accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, we'll do. Then allow me to introduce myself properly. I am the big boss of Team Star. The name's Castle PR. No, Penny. I bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Now, Umbreon. I want my back in this battle, I'll say true to Team Star's code. How did it survive? Leafeon? Wait, she's got all Eevee illusions. Must have all Eevee illusions. Oh no. Missed. <laughs> I am my shout. Oh my lord, that hurts. That sure did hurt. Larion. Will I do all the Miascarada without healing? Probably not. But we will try. And I'm just gonna put that in. No, I'm dead. Miascarada. Oh, uh, Flareon, you damaged yourself. Okay, okay. Guess it's Palmot's time. I was actually telling me that it was super effective. Interesting. Palmot was annoying as well. You have to walk it to evolve. I didn't know that. I thought you had a wall battle. Actually, we had to walk battle with it, but apparently you just have to walk with it to evolve it. I could have evolved it, like, way in the beginning for my playthrough, but I had no idea. Bring out Jolteon. Yeah, she has all evolutions. Guess we can dig. Why not? Oh, come on. fought you on your battle skills at all no wonder the bosses fell at your hands you know it time to terrestrialize shine bright like the starry sky and become who you really want to be so this is our last one right She might KO Palmer. Um, 
That my VV power will crush you in, into Stardust. Charge and up. What's next? Yes, it's a cloud. I wonder what Sir Claude looks like shiny, I actually don't know. I can't wait to start shiny hunting. It's all over now. 15. 15,000. It's finally over guys, it's done. It sure is. We're done here, I think we should call it quits. Hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star and now everything's going out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you're you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning um, some manners. So, but we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't even do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intentions to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist. Their tyrannous oppression. Plus a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. The bullies made a huge stink about what went down and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot free. Fish are right, this little stunt might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end, just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into it. this. I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh noble and kind big boss, you cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah, and what about you? Can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in a room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop it right there, BB. Why are you talking like we will never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Speak to us. What is... Fine intent. Dying intent? I know. Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything. I'm really saying, and you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through up to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? I resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star. Isn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to... A code says that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did, that's why I knew I could use it to force Team Star to disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Plus the idea for Operation Staff. But Pierre, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star know? What do your friends in the team mean to you? They are, they are my greatest treasure. 
Splendid. Thank you for appraising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Get quitted with the old geezer, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed, well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Director Clavel, just as Cassipia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students don't tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers. After all, much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? I also have some big feelings about the wig. And <laughs> well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Go oh, big boss, long time no see. Mama? More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Millie? I'm not, I'm not even gonna, I hate this, the way this person speaks, man. Atticus? So I heard your real name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? Forty? We found you at last, sure. You've no idea how worried we've been. Eerie. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two. Hasta la visa, casa pia, and hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come on again. As a rector of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. Well, I said don't. I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced with the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. I now know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger and of course your immense courage in putting things to, to right and so I'll get straight to the conclusion The Academy's order for things start to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey I hereby revoke Does that mean that what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist should that be your wish who Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. And my heart is giddy with glee. But I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. As far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because somebody told us to. After all, it ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so. Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to this plan has been revoked. There are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. You protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and effort. The Pedora's driving of Pokemon powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flying career and disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Thus, as punished punishment, you will be you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? But specifically I will be asking you to manage the SDCs. And that stands for star training centers there shall be facilities for cultivating pokemon trainers talents i plan for the academy to fund them in collaboration with the pokemon league the idea came to me when i saw master Henry saint battling his way through your bases the bases construction as well as 
battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star were remarkably unique and creative. I will ask that you continue your team activities but henceforth as STC staff members using your but henceforth as using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? I know it sounds like fun, so I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. This may be a weird thing to say since the SECs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. It's true, we would mostly, most happily have you at our sides, my lady. We can go to school together too, that way if you, if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were already talking about how great it would be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what are you saying, you guys? What are you saying, what do you think? I think it sounds great. Uh, but, but um, I just wanted to give you a response right this moment, Miss Penny, do take some time to decide. For now at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. And not to say you should break up Team Star after all, I simply meant it's time to leave. Also, I'm really saying, please stop by my office there if you would. I guess we do have a little coin, a little coin. Mm. There you go. My back is killing me, I ain't gonna lie. Ah, here you are, Master Henry Saint. I want to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Who is it? I'm Miss Penny. I'm Miss Penny, do you come in? Hello, Director. While the SCCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. That's wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favourable response. But um, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. I said because of Operation Starfall. No, not that, because of the other really bad thing I did. What would that be? Um, you know, the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall, I got hold of it, sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, I see that is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't after all that, uh, I, I mean, I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. Mm, this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, on how the best to proceed. I'd feel as much. I do apologise, Master Hussein, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. And that was a lot, a lot of reading. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, like the video, subscribe if you're new, turn on post notification bell so you never miss a daily Pokemon Scarlet upload. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.